Yuka Bambumti Chini Tanchu Mungbong So we are here in Chicago on CBS News. Dalton Village Board plans to hire Lori Lightfoot to investigate Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Sources say. We appreciate you, Megan Hickey and Todd Fura. Fura, I think that's close enough. Um, this was updated on April 5, 2024 at 8.31 p.m. Chicago members of the Dalton Village Board plan to hire former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, a one-time federal prosecutor, to investigate Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who has been accused of misusing public funds while the village is millions of dollars in debt. Oh, that is perfect. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I did not know who Lori Lightfoot was, and I was curious. I did want to know. But that is a good resume. A former um, mayor and a federal prosecutor. Oh, boo. I am appreciating the dream team against Henyard at this point. And I hate to see my people get investigated for crimes and shit like that. Like, go ahead. Some of y'all can get away with it. I'm going to give you a pass. <laughs> I'm going to be a little biased. But damn, I'm rooting for Miss Lori at this point because she seemed like the dream team. And I am here for your report. But oh, please release it easily so I can see it because I can't find nothing when I be looking for it. But I want to read it. I am interested. Sources confirmed a group of village trustees was working on a resolution proposing to hire Lightfoot to investigate allegations rego regarding Henyard's spending, including lavish personal spending, reportedly on the taxpayer's dime. Oh, no, boo, it's not on your dime. If you watch the story I just posted about that gas, it's coming out of her 5000 probably close to $10,000 a month just expense budget she get a budget just for expenses on top of her paycheck in case she was wondering oh but no i'm sorry i'm sorry i lied that is with the township <laughs> this is dalton i apologize i apologize I, I will say i am getting to know the difference lightfoot also would be tasked with investigating a village employee's cl claims that she was S aid by a Dalton Village trustee on a trip to Las Vegas and then retaliated against the employee claimed after she told the mayor about the lawsuit she was eventually fired. But boo, we is it's coming. Karma be coming. It be coming so sometimes. She be on the slow bus. She don't be on the, the bus with the horse powers. But she coming. Because first off, I ain't seen old Dusty Trusty <laughs> Holmes in a good little minute. You know, once you sit sedentary as an older person, I like old people. That's who I prefer to work with. If I could find me a couple clients that don't make me change no booty, I promise you, I would not work a regular job. I would just have me a couple old people all the time. We would be doing all the things, hanging out, having all the fun. I like old people who behave themselves. But when you are an old person and you sit sedentary and you stop moving and shaking and grooving as much as you once were, uh, did, you start to lose it quickly. And he doesn't look like he took the greatest care of himself, right? And from what I'm listening to, he was out there drinking and partying and shit. I don't know if he was taking the drugs that he was allegedly slipping to the others but <laughs> i'm interested if he want to share i definitely would love to hear um but yeah he been hiding he been hibernating i ain't seen him he ain't been on the news they said it's been a bunch of incidences that then happened there that he normally would have been the forefront on and he ain't said shit so karma is coming one way or the other i gotta feeling mr holmes is allegedly gonna be you know moving towards the the retirement stage in his life i don't know what that's gonna look like for him but that's just allegedly in my opinion because i'll be knowing what the old people be doing and they be going downhill fast once they don't be at them board meetings <laughs> That man is dirty, and y'all know he is, allegedly, in my opinion. As soon as we get the the, the actual story. I can't wait till Las, Las Vegas come out with the footage, because I know they're going to have the footage. Okay, okay. I'm going to just read the rest of it. Sources said the board is still finalizing language on the resolution to hire Lightfoot and will vote on the measure at a special meeting on Monday. 
The meeting is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. at the Dalton Park District Amber Room. Ooh, that sounds sexy. What be going on in the Amber Room when it's not a Dalton meeting? Y'all be having parties and stuff like that. Is it a bar? I need to stop. This could be just the color of the room. <laughs> it could have some trees in there. <laughs> the lighting could be, I don't know. It could have been named after somebody named Amber. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I shouldn't be allowed. Lightfoot, Lightfoot would be appointed as an additional legislative council. Ah, and for that, I gotta see. Do she got any scandals? I hope and pray. My fingers is crossed right now. Y'all cross your fingers and y'all toes that she is a good upstanding black woman. <laughs> And it's not going to be a mess. I just, I do not need more mess on top of mess. Damn. Lightfoot left the Chicago mayor's office in May of last year. She joined Charles River Associations as a senior, senior consultant to the Forensics Services, so, <laughs> Forensic Services Practice in March. According to the firm's website, oh boo, I am appreciating your resume more and more. It is un it's unclear how much Lightfoot, who was a federal prosecutor for six years and a partner at the Mayor Brown Law Firm, before Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so slow. So when it stopped making sense, I gotta stop to make sure it wasn't me. <laughs> All of that was just to make sure it wasn't me. I am so sorry. Okay, now I'm going to really just read. I, I be lying. I said that in the last video too. I be lying. But I be telling the truth sometimes. I'm going to just read now. It's unclear how much Lightfoot, who was a federal prosecutor for six years and a partner at the Mayor Brown Law Firm before her long term as Chicago's mayor, would be paid for the investigation. Sources in Dalton said they have already been interviewed by the FBI and have been in touch with the Cook County's state Cook County State's Attorney's Office concerning Mayor Henyard's spending. Henyard was elected to be Dalton Dalton's mayor in 2021 as the first woman mayor in the village's 103-year history. Henyard also serves as the supervisor of Thornton Township. Dalton residents packed a village board meeting this week, voicing complaints about allegations of misconduct conduct that have been swirling in the headlines for weeks. Many people who spoke during the meeting's public comment period took issues with Dalton Village government and accused leaders of lack of transparency and other failures. Some called for Henyard and other officials to step down. Some speakers took issue with people not being allowed into the meeting, and one accused the village of failing to attend to the needs of residents in areas with infrastructure problems. After village trustee Jason House expressed concerns about the meeting possibly violating the Open Meetings Act, because of people who were not allowed in, trustees voted to postpone the meeting until next Monday, April 8th, over Henyard's objections. <laughs> Henyard kept the Monday... <laughs> Henyard kept the Monday evening meeting going after most of the trustees got up and left. <laughs> she did. She did. Okay. I did good. I did good. I did good. I didn't know they was going to slip that in there. I did good. I did good. Okay, I'm going to get back to it though. Wait a minute. Let me just catch my breath. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she criticized the news coverage of Scandals in Dalton claiming unvetted false information has been published. It's good to see the media out here, but I wish you guys would come for the positive things and not the chaos and not the media show. Because that's all that's here. I get it. We're clickbait. We're hot right now. And I get it. This is what sells papers. Henyard said. But I wish you guys would have come to our Easter event that we had on Saturday. We had 
over 500 kids out there, happy, running around, giving away baskets. It was amazing. Dalton residents voted to recall Henyard in, 2022, in June 2022, but the mayor took her fight to court and won. When the Illinois appellate court later ruled that the votes to recall Henyard were not valid. In February, Dalton Village trustees called for an outside investigation into allegations that Henyard had been misusing public funds while the village was millions of dollars in debts. The accusations came at the, time, at the same time the Illinois Attorney General's office told Henyard's charity <laughs> multiple times. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Look, read the rest of it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No. No. The rest of it is just going to be stuff. Let me see. That's been repeated. Read it. You see it. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all have a good rest of your day. I just had to read that because I ain't going to tell you why I read this story, but I just had to read this story. Yes. And I am here for it. And I hope and pray this is an investigation that is just leaked everywhere and I can read it if something is published because it'd be so hard for me to find these lawsuits and these court papers and I don't know I don't know I don't know how else to find it I don't want to pay nobody no money to get it really but maybe I might have some I don't know all right y'all well like I said I hope you enjoyed happy Saturday enjoy your weekend I'm gonna see y'all on Monday 